show you how to download and install the Reshade Graphics mod for Apex Legends. Um, now if you're a console player, um, like you play Xbox or PlayStation 4, uh, just know ahead of time that this graphics mod won't work for you. Uh, this is kind of a PC exclusive thing, so you can stick around if you want, just know that you won't be able to apply this mod to your console. Okay, so first things first, we need to download Reshade version 4.0.2. And this version is really important because more recent versions are banned and I think some of the newer one, or older versions are banned too. Um, but basically all you need to do is just take this URL right here and I'll have it in the description at the bottom of the video. Take that, copy it, put it in your browser, press enter, and then you'll be prompted to download. And then you'll just press save. And then once it's downloaded, you can go to the folder you put it in and then open, or you can just do it right here, and then press open. Okay, so next thing, um, it wants us to find the Apex install directory. Now, if you don't know where that is, you can just go to your Origin app, go to Origin, then Application Settings, then Installs and Saves, and then right here under Game Library Location, that'll be the install direct, the default install directory uh, for all your Origin games. So you'll be able to find Apex in there. So you can go here, press select game, and then I'm gonna go to where it told me mine was, which was my F drive, origin library, and then origin. And uh, yours, yours might be something else, so just make sure you check that. Uh, once you get to that directory, you're gonna look for a folder called Apex, and then once you get there, there is going to be an application called R5 Apex. You're gonna wanna highlight that and then open that. Uh, next, you're going to be asked to install uh, your rendering API. Uh, just choose Direct3D 10 Plus, and then you'll be prompted to download some effects from GitHub. Choose yes on that. And then once those are done downloading, I'm not sure what yours are going to have checked and which ones won't be, uh, but just uncheck all, and then uh, and then just kind of go through this list and add the ones that I'm going to add. There's a lot of effects in here that are kind of silly and don't really do a lot. Uh, you're, you're just going to want the ones that I have listed here. So that'll be Adaptive Sharpen, that'll be Clarity, that'll be Fake HDR, Technicolor 2, and Vibrance. So you'll just take all those. And then once you have all those selected, you're pretty much done with installing from here. So the next step is to boot up the game. Get that a bit. Ooh. Okay, and then your game will load up. Um, you should see a banner up here when you first start your game. Uh, if you see that, that means that the install uh, was successful. If you don't see that, then you might have missed something, and I'd watch the video again to see what that might have been. So you might notice right now, we're not really getting anything visually different. Um, I know it's just the loading screen, but even once we get past this, you're, you're not going to notice any, any anything different yet. So basically what we have to do is we have to go into the reshade UI and then activate those effects. So once we get in here, okay now we're pretty much good to go. Um, so to get to the reshade UI you're going to press the home button and then it'll this prompt will come up you'll just press continue and this is a default file and you're like that's fine. And then here, uh, here we can select all of those effects that we downloaded earlier. So you can see like the Adaptive Sharpen, the Clarity, the Fake HDR, Vibrance, and Technicolor we did earlier. So uh, with these effects on, you can tell there's, there's already a massive difference. And if you want to see that a little bit more easily, what I like to do is just go to the settings right here, and then go to your effect toggle key, and then put in whatever key you want to be able to toggle these effects on and off. Um, I like Numpad Plus because it's out of the way and not a lot of games use that. Um, you can choose whatever, whichever one you would like. I also like to uh, throw on a frames per second tracker just to see where my frames are because uh, Reshade does take a little bit of your frames to use and some of the effects are a little bit more resource heavy than others so it's, it's nice to be able to track that and just to, to play around with some settings that you like. So once we have all these um, we can pretty much press escape and then Reshade is installed into our game and I can use that toggle key to show you just the difference between Reshade being off and then reshade being on. Now it'll apply to pretty much everything in game. So if you go to like menus and you try to look at guns, reshade's being applied here. Um, it'll even work when you actually yeah, it'll even work when you try and open up. There we go. Yeah, when you try and open up these loot boxes, you'll get those too. 
Yeah, this looks kind of mediocre. Yay, I can talk with the worst legend in the game. Cool. Okay, um, so let's see what this uh let's see what this looks like actually if we go in game. It'll also affect your, your loaded menus too. Okay, so now we're in the game, and I apologize if this video looks really laggy. I don't know what's going on with my computer lately, but for some reason I can't handle it. I try not to go too quick. But you can already see uh, there's a massive difference between the color that the walls were in the normal tutorial and the way that they are now. And there's just a lot more brightness in the tunnel. Like it, it's almost kind of blinding. Um, and there's uh, some people are not going to appreciate all of the or all of the um, color. So you can actually turn that one off specifically just by going to home and then you can toggle off the effects uh, like Technicolor. And even with that off, Reshade is still doing a lot. So when I turn Reshade off, this is what it looks like normal. This is what it looks like with Reshade on and no Technicolor. So if you don't like the vibrant colors, you can easily turn it off. Um, honestly, what I like to do is I just like to dial it back a little bit because it is kind of, it is a bit much. And you can, uh, you can change all the weights for all of the effects here. So I like to go with the Technicolor one, and I like to bring that down to 800. A little bit more. There we go. So I like to bring it to 800 so it's not, it's not so overbearing. Oh. And you can just toggle it off and then toggle it on. And uh, so you still get lots of color. You just dial it back a little bit, and then it's not as bad as it was before. Um, and you can do this with all the effects, too. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, this is basically the game with Reshit on, and that's how to install it and get you going. Um, if you guys liked the video, uh, uh, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know in the comments why. Um, if you run into any problems while you're trying to install, leave in the comments. Uh, I've I've done this on a bunch of different games, so I I tend to know what these things are pretty quick. Uh, anyway, uh, you guys have fun playing Apex Legends with your new Reshade.